All right, folks, Ben Studio, the brilliant minds behind the gripping post-apocalyptic world of Days Gone is stepping into uncharted territory. Yeah, you heard it right. After giving us Deacon St. John's rugged journey through a land reclaimed by nature and of course hordes of freakers, they're now embracing the ever-controversial, ever-evolving live service model. A little birdie, or rather, a job listing that's been making the rounds tells us that Ben Studio is diving head first into the live service game pool. This isn't just a tiny step outside their comfort zone, it's a full-on cannonball. Remember, these are the folks who've crafted experiences where narrative depth, immersive worlds, and solitary exploration take the front seat. And now, they're pivoting to a model that thrives on continuous engagement, updates, and community-driven content. Quite the pivot, wouldn't you say? This move aligns with Sony's broader strategy, pushing aggressively into the live service domain. They've thrown down the gauntlet, aiming to launch a dozen of these evergreen titles by March 2026. But as we've seen, the road's been bumpy, with delays and quality hiccups leading the way. It's clear Sony is looking for its studios to innovate, to find that golden formula of engaging gameplay and enduring revenue streams. But at what cost? Before setting their sights on this new horizon, Ben Studio had a couple of other aces up their sleeve. They pitched a Days Gone sequel and an open-world resistance game, both of which got the red light from Sony. It's interesting to think about what could have been, especially considering how well the PC port of Days Gone was received. It's like Ben Studio was on the verge of defining their legacy, only to pivot towards the uncertain promise of live service success. Now, here's where things get spicy. Live service games are a bit like Marmite. You either love them or you hate them. On one hand, they promise a living, breathing world that evolves with player input and updates. On the other, they can become endless grinds or cash grabs if not handled with care. The question is, can Ben Studio navigate these treacherous waters without losing sight of what made Days Gone such a memorable experience? It's not just Ben Studio facing the live service conundrum. Naughty Dog, another jewel in Sony's crown, has felt the strain, dedicating an entire console generation to a multiplayer project that ultimately fizzled out. It's a clear sign of the internal struggles and philosophical battles happening behind the scenes as Sony pushes for this model. Even high-profile departures like Connie Booth underscore the tension and uncertainty clouding this live service push. So where does this leave us and the beloved world of Days Gone? Ben Studio has proven they can create rich, compelling narratives and immersive gameplay. As they venture into the realm of live service games, one can only hope they carry forward the craftsmanship, attention to detail, and passion that define Days Gone. It's a bold move, a gamble that could redefine their identity in the gaming industry. And that's a wrap for today's deep dive, folks. What do you think about Ben Studios' new direction? Are you excited, skeptical, or somewhere in between? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more gaming news and insights right here on Joystick News. Until next time, keep those joysticks wiggling and stay awesome.